to Mr. Hassan's mass channel. This is now question number 11 from the June 2023 Pure Mathematics P2 paper from Edexcel, International A level. Um, this is the last question on the paper. It says a sequence U1, U2, U3 is defined by, and you have what's called here a recurrence relationship, that uh, UN plus 1 is equal to B minus A times UN. And they've defined U1 as equal to 3 and a and b as constants so we've got to find in terms of a and b u2 and u3 so what does this mean un plus one equals b minus a times un well, basically it means if you want to find what a particular term is then you can take whatever the constant b is subtract from that a times the term before the term you're looking for so for example we're looking for u2 so u2 is going to be equal to b minus a times the term before u2 which is u1 so in this case we can say for part one you can say u2 is going to be equal to b minus a times three so we can write that in a more simplified way u2 is equal to b minus 3a all right so there's u2 and then we can also do the same for u3 okay very similar thing for u3 we can say that u3 is equal to b minus a times u2. Okay, that's like the term before it. So therefore we can say u3 is going to be b minus a times whatever u2 was. Now we know u2 in terms of b and a is b minus 3a. Okay, so we can then therefore say that's equal to b minus a b plus 3a squared so that's u3 u3 is equal to b minus a b plus 3a squared so there's u3 and there's u2 so there's the answer to part a one and two then part b it says um given that and it's got this sigma sign it means the sum of the terms basically what this means actually is this means that the first term u1 plus the second term u2 plus the third term u3 is going to be equal to 153 okay so we know that and we also know that b equals a plus 9 show that that leads to this equation so basically we know what u3 is and we know what u2 is and we know what u1 is u1 is equal to 3 so we know that u1 is equal to 3 and u2 is equal to b minus 3a and we know that u3 is equal to b minus a b plus 3a squared so the sum of these must be 153 so we just take these three terms add them together and we get an equation in a and b so we have 3 plus b minus 3a plus b minus um, a b plus 3a squared is equal to 153. So if we simplify this, now first of all, uh, let's just um, combine any like terms. The only like terms I can see here are these two b's really. So we're going to have 3 plus 2b minus 3a minus ab plus 3a squared equals 153. Now our equation, there's no b in it. So obviously the b has been replaced by a plus 9. So we're going to take the b's and write instead of them a plus 9. So instead of a b, I'm going to write a plus 9 here. So you have minus 3a minus a times, and again, a plus 9, plus 3a squared equals 153. Okay, so now um, we have everything, yep, yeah, in terms of, um, these numbers now so let's just expand the brackets we have 3 plus 2a plus 2 times 9 18 minus 3a minus a squared minus 9a and plus 3a squared equals 153 okay so let's bring all the like terms together we have 3a squared minus a squared that's 2a squared so 3a squared minus a squared that's dealt with We've got 2a minus 3a, which is minus a, minus 9a, which is minus 10a. 
and we got 3 plus 18 which is 21 and here we're going to have minus 153 equals 0. So 2a squared minus 10a and you got 153 minus 21 which is 100 and um, so look, make sure that's going to give you 2 and 3 and 1, 132 that's negative 132 equals 0 and we want to end up with this and I think that will give us this if we divide everything by 2 then this gives you a squared minus 5a minus 2 into 13 goes 6 remainder 1 yeah 66 equals 0 so it's exactly what we have to show and we've got that all right so that's what we needed to show and that's the answer to part b so these steps need to be shown clearly so basically what, what this means is you know the sum of the terms okay well, n equals 1 n equals 3 that would be u1 plus u2 plus u3 gives you 153 that's what that means okay all right so there's part um b and now we're going to go into part c okay so it says hence find the larger possible value of u2 so this is all the information that we have so far all right so we want to find the larger possible value of u2 so we know that to find u2 because we know that u2 is equal to we already found it already as b minus 3 a so we know u2 is equal to b minus 3 a okay so i need to find what b is and i need to find what a is okay so let's first solve this equation and see what we get minus 66 dot plus equals zero so it looks like this is quite easy to factorize because the only numbers that will give you six is 11 and 6 and the difference between them is 5 so you got a minus 11 and a plus 5 uh, pl a plus 6 sorry that will give you minus 66 as a product and it will give you minus 5 as a sum so this is the right combination here so we can say from this a minus 11 equals 0 so a equals 11 or a minus a plus 6 equals um zero so a equals negative six so which of these will lead us to the largest value of u2 let's see okay so now we have a equals 11 and a equals negative six so we need to find what b is now we know that b is equal to a plus nine b is equal to a plus nine so what we can do is we can say that when a is equal to 11 b is going to be um 11 plus 9 which is 20 so when a is equal to 11 b is equal to 20 and we can say that when a is equal to negative 6 then b is going to be equal to negative 6 plus 9 which is going to be equal to 3 so we can say when a equals negative 6 b equals 3 so now we can find the value of u now we know we know u2 we know that u2 is equal to i'll write this over here is equal to b minus 3a that's what we found from the earlier part of the question so which of these values of a and b would give us the larger value of u2 well let's see when you put these values in you have u2 is going to be b which is 20 minus 3 times 11 which is 20 minus 33 which is negative 13 so u2 equals negative 13 in this first scenario and in the second scenario we put these values in we have u2 is going to be equal to b which is 3 minus 3 times negative 6 now when you do 3 times when you do negative 2 times negative 6 it gives you positive 18 so it's 3 plus 18 which is equal to 21 so in this case u2 is going to be 21 so we can say the larger of the two values or the possible values of u2 is 21 so u2 equals 21 this is the largest of the two values and there's our answer okay there's the answer to this question and that concludes this question number 11 from the june 2023 pure, pure mathematics p2 ial paper from edexcel and this question um it was the last question on this paper other questions from this paper can be found by looking at the playlist which will be um, linked in this area at the end of the video other questions dealing with um, series from p1 sorry from p2 of edexcel can be linked from the uh, link over here and you can find um, a link to subscribe to my channel over there and 
this area here will have a link to my a video which tells you how to use my channel in a way that will help you find what you're looking for. Thank you for watching and see you soon.